I don't think they're ready. Are you ready? Oh, I was born ready. And you don't think they're ready? Well, let's ask them. Uh, you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for anything? Anything? Yeah! Everybody's ready! Hang, Hang on, on to the loop! Four, three, two, one. And I'm Jamie. As we navigate our lives here on Earth, we want to be ready for anything. Yeah, ready for whatever comes next. Ready for the big stuff and the little stuff. Ready for more independence. And that is why we are taking some time to practice some habits that will have us be ready for anything. Yeah, starting with character. Now, I know what you mean, like characteristics of what we say and do, but anytime I hear character, I always think of people like Spider-Man or Harry Potter or... <gasps> Franklin Beans. Sorry, who? You know, the, the hot dog judge. This guy. In 1984, a young law student left the library with a stack of law books. It was storming hard. And as he was passing a nearby hot dog cart, he was struck by lightning. When he awoke, he found his brain was filled with knowledge and his body had changed. He became Judge Franklin Beans. I'm a good judge of character. You are about to enter the courtroom of Judge Franklin Beans. The characters are real. The cases are strange. The rulings are final. Case number 5682, Trick Shot Travis. Ha <laughs> ha! What's up, hot dog man? I'm Trick Shot Travis, and I have no idea why I'm here. I'm a good character. I'm nice, and I do sick. Tricks. I call this one the roundabout twisting shot. Are you ready? Here we go. Woo! <laughs> God, did you see that? Come on! Woo! Woo! It it didn't go in. Uh, I know that, and you know that. But what we do is we cheat it to make it look like it went in. We do it all in camera with editing magic. Magic! Woo! Have you ever successfully <laughs> landed a trick shot? Let's just say I land a lot of trick camera shots. Check this out. I call this one the triple electric salsa. Here we go. Where is he getting these ping pong balls? <sighs> Woo! Come on! It bounced off the wall, spun in the air, and went into the cup. Woo! Come on! <laughs> that didn't happen. Pretend it went in so I look cool. I've seen enough. You are not a good character. You are a cheater. Oh, not cool, bro. I'm a sick dude with attitude. And I'm a no-nonsense hot dog judge. The ruling stands. Next. Case number 2332, Princess Sugar Tooth. Well, aren't you a cutie? <laughs> I am the syrupy sweet Princess Sugar Tooth and I rule the Honeydew Kingdom. I think you'll find my character is as sweet as a bucket full of cookies and cream. <laughs> this file says you are- oh, Excuse me. My royal assistant is calling me. <laughs> yeah, what do you want? I don't want to hear that. I don't care if people live there. I want a pool full of jelly beans and that's where I want it! Kick them out of their house and start digging my pool! Are you crying? Gross! <gasps> okay, thanks, bye! <laughs> what was that all about? Oh, my half birthday's coming up and I'm getting a jelly bean pool. That sounds like it comes at a cost. Yeah, jelly beans are expensive. <laughs> You're a character with bad character. I'm sweet. You're selfish. But I'm the princess. I may be an average hot dog man, but I'm an above average judge of character. The ruling stands. Next. Case number 1046, Paul the Puppet. Where's Paul? What's up, everybody? You're late. Okay. <laughs> uh, the name is Paul. I like dogs and I enjoy afternoon naps. You seem like a nice guy, Paul. <laughs> or should I say, puppet? Ah, <laughs> yeah. That's a good one, puppet. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, so, uh, I'm Paul. I don't have a car. N no, no, I, I can see you, the puppeteer. Oh, well, my arm was tired, so I stood up. <laughs> Just. 
Pretend I'm not here. Okay, so my name is Paul. You said that already. Well, I don't know what the lines are. I lost my script someplace in my messy condo. I'm just gonna make something up. Go with it, okay? So, I'm Paul and uh, I don't know. I was up late. Enough. Your character is lacking. You're a lazy puppeteer. Harsh, man, but I'm really not up for arguing with you. Next! Case number 8165, Nicholas Bubbles. All right, Nicholas says here you used to sell newspapers. Where's Nicholas? Uh, no idea. We've got a missing character. So when we talk about character, we don't mean you have to have a wig or a silly name or, you know... Something. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Nicholas Bobbles, but my friends call me Nick Knack, and you look like me friends. I, I, I'm sorry, we're in the middle of a show right now. Would you mind coming back Oh, later? come now, chums. Here you're all about Nick Knack out here. I've got a deal that will knock your wellies wobbly. I have no idea what that means. <gasps> Didn't grow up chalk drawing the cobblestones, eh? Where are you from? Your accent is all over the place. Oh, <laughs> and I thought I was a rascal. <laughs> now I want me friends to get in on the ground floor of me newest endeavor. You see, I need some testers, and you two look absolutely aces. <laughs> All my life, I've been called a bad apple on account of me being what some might call a stinker. But then one day I think, hang on a mo, there's a couple quid to be had right there. I mean, seriously, we're in the middle of a show. I mean, there are cameras and everything. Oh, it's a close up on me. Don't, don't close up on him. Don't, don't okay. close oh, up. Oh, this looks so, so very good. Here we go. <clears throat> Little stinker applesauce with a hint of cinnamon and a dash of mischief. Okay, I thought I was ready for anything, but I was not ready for, uh, this. Can we cut to something else? And when I asked them about getting additional Blue Show security, they said they spent that part of the budget on gross pies. Oh, I can't believe it. Say, mister, you're a celebrity, right? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> well, what Lil Stinker Applesauce really needs is a bona fide celeb endorsement. You know, a little bit of the old uh, sponsored content, as they say. Yeah, we don't really do that here on the show. But you do taste tests, right? Time to time. Okay, then taste some of this and let us know what you think of old Nick Knack's original recipe. Okay. Looks fresh. Um, and smells interesting. You like it? It's good. Goes down all smooth, right? <laughs> Is there relish in this? Ooh. It's got some, you know, vitamin C. Oh boy. Oh, oh. oh. Give me a sauerkraut? Ding, 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 ding. We oh. have a winner. Oh, great. Then you just, the sauerkraut. It's an applesauce. You, you want to try some? No. No. You know, this recipe might not actually be quite all right. I think what you folks really should try is <clears throat> Lil Stinker Special Recipe. Well, you know, I forgot my spoon, so... Oh, no, don't go get in a case of the uh, collie waffles. I mean, I got a spoon right there for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Nicholas. Mm. All right. So it's the special one? Mm, so special. Oh, okay. It's just extremely special. You have no idea. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, here I go. Mm. Little stinker applesauce special recipe. So special. <laughs> oh, that is so good, Nicholas. It just warms the heart, doesn't it? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Mm. What, what does it taste? Does it taste like sauerkraut? Um, it's the texture, so... I think there might be um crab in here or shrimp. Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, yes, oh, yes, 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 she wins the prize right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, almost. Um. Uh. Oh, it. <coughs> okay. Uh, that makes my eyes water just a little bit. Does it? It's, yeah. it's like a bonus little side effect. You oh, know? <laughs> yeah. It's bad applesauce. <laughs> Well, I, I never said I was a good apple. <laughs> oh. You have to get better locks. 
on all the doors and windows of the studio. Let me ask you a question. Do you have any pet peeves that make you feel like, ah, no. Like small things that people do that make you feel a little uncomfortable, or maybe little things that just happen that don't really involve another person. For example, my dad's biggest pet peeve is getting his socks wet. Like last night, he was having a cup of water and he accidentally spilled his water and he had socks on and he got water all over his socks. The way that he handled it was pretty funny though. When he spilled his water, he looked down, stared at his socks and just looked up with this face of just, Ah. <laughs> Another example for big pet peeves is one of my pet peeves. Usually everywhere I drive, there's always at least one slow driver on the road. But the most irritating thing that makes it a really big pet peeve of mine is that I can't get around them. And I have a little bit of road rage, which is something that I need to work on, which brings me to my point. Our main focus is how to practice good character. Good character involves self-control, learning, gratitude, being humble. One of the things that I know I need to work on is self-control. Because let me tell you, I am the most impatient person in the world. <laughs> like not being able to pass a slow driver while I'm driving. And self-control may even be used in different circumstances. Like being around someone who you you don't particularly like, or maybe just cooperating with someone who you don't agree with. Another big thing about having character is gratitude. Having gratitude just means being grateful for the things that you already have. For example, when I'm driving, I could be thankful that I have a car to get me around places. Or whenever my dad spilled water on his socks, he could be grateful for having water to keep him hydrated even though he spilled them on his socks, which he could also be grateful for because it keeps his feet warm. Practicing good character also means that you have to be open-minded Minded. Open mindedness is super important whenever you're trying to get different perspectives on different ideas. Now, having an open mind doesn't necessarily mean that you have to agree with everyone's ideas, but still show respect by keeping an open mind. Overall, there are many ways to practice good character. The Bible gives us many different ways to practice good character. Because when you demonstrate a foundation of strong character, you'll be given the independence to make your own choices. With Christ strengthening your character every single day, you'll be ready for anything. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys today. See you later. I'm ready for anything For I can do everything For I can do everything Through Christ who gives me strength I'm ready for anything For I can do everything For I can do everything Through Christ who gives me strength I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything I have learned the secret of living in every situation Whether my stomach is full or empty or plenty or little I know how to live on almost nothing or with everything I have learned the secret of living in every situation Whether my stomach is full or empty Plenty or little you know I'm Ready for anything For I can do everything For I can do everything Through Christ who gives me strength I'm ready for anything for I can do everything For I can do everything Through Christ who gives me strength So what do you say, chums? Are we business partners or are we business partners? No. no. Fine. I'll give you a bite of the Big Apple. We'll go 50-50 and split the profits. Hmm... 20-80. Wait, how does that work? 20% of 50%? You do the math. All right, we've seen enough here. You have bad character. You're a bad apple, Nicholas Bobbles. You can call me Nick Knack. And you can call me Justice. Can you get him out of here, Judge? Let's go. Say, so, Judge, do you know how to write a jingle? I'm thinking, little stinker applesauce, little stinker applesauce. Having character matters. If you're known for having strong character, that usually leads to independence to make your own choice. You can practice having good character with self-control and humility. Practice curiosity and gratitude. With Christ strengthening your character daily, you are gonna be ready for anything. No one enjoys a bad apple. Or bad apple sauce. Until next time, enjoy, enjoy the, the ride. ride! So wait, why was he a hot dog? 
Oh, you know who would have loved this awful applesauce? Who? Our evil twins. <gasps> Good thinking. Mm -hmm. Yes, Amy and Mickey. See, they are the bad applesauce and we're the sweet applesauce. Yeah, we have evil twins. Didn't you know? If you didn't, check out this video right here. You're gonna love it. Like some good, yummy applesauce.